If you don't mind, I don't, I don't want to get into the nuts and bolts, but what I will say is you have to have a clear policy. This isn't a nice to have. You have to have a clear policy. And you have to put the flagpole in the ground and you're never going to satisfy everybody. And it is a sensitive subject. Of course I recognise it's a sensitive subject. You know, and I always try where possible to couch my own language on the basis that it was a member of my family that was being discussed in that way. But I am elected to do a few really clear mandated things. Uh, and one of those is to be absolutely unambiguous about the importance of women's sport. I've always made it clear that if the opportunity arose, I would obviously give it serious thought. Um, the opportunity has arisen, uh, and clearly I need to think about that. Uh, the the chart is pretty clear, by the way, uh, about timings here. So this is only, at best, a, a consideration. Um, look, I have been involved in the Olympic movement for the larger part of my life. I've chaired uh, uh, an Olympic Games from, uh, from bid through uh, delivery uh, and two years of legacy after that. I've been privileged to compete uh, in two uh, Olympic Games. I've chaired a National Olympic Committee and I now have the best job in the world. I'm president of the number one uh, Olympic sport. So look, these are experiences that if you put together, uh, I, I, I and other aspects of my life, I think would be beneficial uh, to the role.